Honorable Deputy Minister of Finance, Natangwe Ithete, had recently handed over the Road Fund Administration Village at the trans Kalaharid border post in Omaheke region. The construction of staff accommodation for Road Fund Administration border office should be seen in the context of the evaluation growth of funds operation. The need for accommodation and transport has been the persistence challenge affecting the Road Fund Administration border post operation. The staff members did not have access to decent housing and often had to travel long distance to workplaces. The border post operations are crucial to the Road Fund Administration. I am informed that the fund operation at this border post has now overtake not Uber and many other border posts as the top most contributor to the road fund administration revenue collection. The village that was constructed at the cost of about 5.8 million consists of seven houses that will accommodate the RFA staffs. It is part of the second phase of the RFA staff accommodation program. The program plans to construct housing facilities at all 14 border posts around the country, which in total will accommodate 66 of its staff members. I call on a road fund administration staff members that will occupy those accommodation facility to utilize them in line with the prescribed policies and to take good care of those properties. I'm also further calling all other enterprises, state-owned enterprises and private companies to follow suit, to do the same thing so that we can meet our government halfway in providing shelters to our people. Thank you very much. At this same occasion, a check of 1.2 million has been handed over to the Village Early Childhood Development Center to further uplift the facility. Reporting from Trans-Kalahari Border Post, Matilda Kulo, Khobabes.